Hey guys, you're Marta Geek. In this video, I'm going to compare the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 versus the LG G4, which is another phone that I've been really liking since it came out. So let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, let's go ahead and see all the physical differences between these two phones. Like for example, starting on the LG G4, um, here in the back, we got the 16 megapixel camera right there. looks pretty cool. Uh, we got the laser focus right there, which is very awesome when you're taking pictures and trying to focus very, very fast. Uh, you got the dual uh, flash right there. You got the volume button up and down, and you have the home button right here in the back. You also have right here, you have the uh, speaker grill as well, which also gives you great sound from there on the galaxy note 5 uh, we got only the camera and we only have the heart rate monitor or sensor with a flash right there other than that all we get is the branding on the back with the samsung and the galaxy note 5 right there if you have a another carrier you might have at&t and all that right here in the back another thing here in the back is that this is made out of glass here in the back and it has curved edges which makes the phone feel a lot more better when you're handling the phone which is awesome uh, than prior versions of the galaxy note devices and you also have the metal uh, surrounding the phone which also gives it a more more premium feel and it gives it a little bit of heft as well feels very heavy compared to the lg g4 which is plastic in the back of course this is trying to simulate like a steel or something like that uh, you can also get a rear cover which is leather which looks beautiful it comes in different colors as well blue brown your black and white and it looks very good but that's awesome that you can actually replace place it and of course it has a curve as well because the screen of the phone is curved so the rear of the phone is also curved so when it comes to handling these two phones for me they're one of the best there is in the market though when when it comes to handling and here in the sides we got absolutely nothing for the LG G4 because all the buttons are here in the back. Here on the left side, you got the volume buttons right there. On this side, you have the power button right there. Here, of course, you have absolutely nothing. Here in the bottom on the LG G4, you have the headphone jack and you have the micro USB port for to charge your phone. Um, here on the Galaxy Note 5, you have the headphone jack you have the micro usb port and you have the speaker grill here in the bottom and of course you have access to the s pen here as well on the top of the lg g4 we have the ir blaster and of course like a noise canceling microphone there um, over here you only have the microphone canceling right there and you have the sim card this is where you're going to put your sim card uh, in the phone other than that, this the, uh, the Galaxy Note 5 does not have a IR blaster, so that means you cannot use it as a universal remote control, where the LG G4, you can use it as a universal remote control. Here in the front on the Galaxy Note 5, you have the home button right there, which also works as a fingerprint scanner, and you have the camera, which is a 5 megapixel camera with the branding right there. On the LG G4, it looks totally clean. The only thing you have here is the branding right here, which is LG. And right here, you have the 8 megapixel camera, which is very good. Now, when it comes to unlocking the phones, uh, these two phones are very different. Uh, for example, here, you could double tap and you unlock the phone just like that very easily or you can also here using the buttons in the back you could double tap the the bottom button if you double tap the bar button you go ahead and open to the camera which is awesome if you double tap the top button which is the top volume button it opens up to the quick memo app which from from here you could go ahead and start writing awesome on the galaxy note 5 of course you can either tap the button and slide to unlock or you can just press here hold the here hold the fingerprint scanner and unlock the phone just like that i recommend you using this because it works almost flawlessly another thing you could do while you're here with your phone screen off you can also double tap 
and it will open the camera which is awesome as well and you can take pictures right away now let's talk about the specs on these two phones on the galaxy note 5 you have the exynos octa-core cpu which has a quad core at 1.5 gigahertz and a quad core at 2.1 gigahertz it feels very fast very snappy on the lg g4 you have the snapdragon 808 which is an hexa core it has a quad core clocked at 1.544 gigahertz and it has a dual core at 1.82 gigahertz also feels very snappy and it doesn't get hot at all when it comes to the display these two phones are very different as well when it comes to size and technology on here on the galaxy note 5 we have a 5.7 super amoled screen at 2560 by 1440 which is 2k feels very awesome looks beautiful looks gorgeous everything that you see here pops up out of the screen um here on the lg g4 you have a 5.5 inch ips lcd screen uh has the 2560 by 1440 same as the uh now note 5 which is also a 2k screen and the colors on this phone also feels very nice very popping i'm this is one of the best lcd screens that i've seen on any phone uh, my eyes have always been uh, accustomed to amoled screens because i've been owning a lot of galaxy phones from back in the day and this right here the Gal the lg g4 for me is one of the best lcd screen that i've seen in the market that can compare with the with the note devices or galaxy devices feels very good looks awesome as well now when it comes to storage the galaxy note 5 comes in 32 and 64 gigabytes the lg g4 comes in 32 gigabytes uh, but it also has a sd card slot which you can also put up to 128 gigabytes which is awesome like you see there I have 20 gigabytes available there this right here is the 64 version which is the one that i recommend everybody to get because on the l on the galaxy note 5 you do not have the option to replace or to add a micro sd cars so you get what you get if you get a 32 that's it if you get a 64 that's it and there's a rumors that there might be a 128 gigabyte but at, at the moment of this video it's still not confirmed when it comes to camera these two phones are awesome they both have amazing cameras uh, here on the back you have a 16 megapixel here you have a 60 megapixel uh, here in the front you have a 5 megapixel versus a 8 megapixel but believe me guys they both are amazing great amazing cameras on these two phones the only biggest differences are of course the software the way they look inside and all that um here on the lg g4 you take videos there you take pictures there very easily just like that super super fast when it comes to taking pictures um here you got the settings which also looks very simple here you got auto hdr on and off or auto which is an awesome feature here you got the resolutions right there of the vi of the video and the camera and other than that like you see it is a very very simple camera uh, you have auto you have panorama you have dual mode those are the modes here you got the front facing camera you switch like there uh, right here also you have a simple mode which when you open the camera the camera is already ready to shoot and all you got to do is just tap and it'll take a picture right away that's awesome of course it also has a pro mode or a manual mode which gives you a bunch a bunch of ways to control your uh, photos with different modes manually like you see there there's a lot of modes you got a lot of information up here um here you can also switch to um raw images as well look at that very easy raw j jpeg or jpeg note five here you got this is how it looks of course with the buttons you can control the uh, zoom in or zoom out and you can also customize the button to use it as a shutter or to record videos um here you got the video recording here you got the pictures you take pictures right there just like that um here you got the modes these are all the modes available. You got auto, pro mode, selective focus, panorama, video collage, anima animation GIF, uh, virtual sh shot, fast motion, slow motion, 
and you also have live broadcast, which is a feature that lets you uh, broadcast to YouTube directly from your camera, which is awesome. That's so like you see the L the Galaxy Note 5 has a lot more features than the LG G4. Of course, like I said, it has a pro mode. A pro mode is basically a manual mode that lets you control all these manually. If you uh, if you know about that. So that's going to be good for you. If you don't, that's going to be useless. Um, here you got effects, metering as well. You can control there. Like you see there, you off um, this timer and all that. Um, here you got the resolutions right there. 16 megapixel resolution. And it has for me, Galaxy Note 5 for me has a better control of the megapixels right there than the LG G4. Um, here when you go to settings, you also can control the video quality from here as well. You got from, from 4K to VGA there. And you have a 60 frames per second, um, 1080p. Um, on the LG G4, you can also record at 4K as well. So that's good to know. Uh, but other than that, let's go ahead and put this back to Matt auto mode which is the mode that most people are going to be using other than that it has other similar features like auto hdr which is now available on the galaxy phones it's awesome I'll, mainly i leave it in auto because it, it does a great job taking pictures um here you got auto flash here in settings of course it takes you back here to settings so you have other features here as well very good camera as well here when it comes to battery, the G4 and the Note 5, they have the same battery, a 3000 milliampere hour battery. The major difference is the LG G4, you can actually re uh, take out the back cover and replace your battery if it goes bad. On the Galaxy Note 5, you will not be able to do that because it's sealed in, you cannot replace the back and you cannot replace your battery. Uh, of course, here you have access to the memory card as well, where you're going to put in your memory card and add up to 128 gigabytes. Um, here you can also get, I think you could get wireless charging if you get one of those covers, I think if I'm not mistaken, but of course you have to buy it. It has fast charging with the update that uh, became available a couple of weeks after the launch. Uh, and other than that, here on the Galaxy Note 5, you have fast charging and you also also have uh, wireless charging, which is integrated inside the phone. So that means you don't have to buy anything more. It's ready for wireless charging. All you need is the pad to place your phone on it and start charging. On the LG G4, been getting way better battery life. Of course, must be because of the specs. Remember, this is an octa core. This is an exa core. Uh, this has a three gigabytes of RAM. This has a four gigabytes of RAM. And you have a bigger screen. You have a smaller screen, 5.5 versus 5.7. So of course, um, this one, it's obvious is gonna be draining a little bit more battery even though they both have the same battery capacity so obviously the no the g4 i find it a lot better battery life and it gets hot less than the note 5. okay so here now what we're gonna do is do benchmarks on both devices keep in mind for every benchmark i'm gonna do i'm gonna be restarting both phones that way both of them can be nice and fresh um, and we can start the test right here. We're going to do starting first with, um, let's go ahead and start first with Geekbench. And over here, let's go ahead and choose Geekbench as well. Like I said, this phone has a four gigabytes and this one has three gigabytes. Both phones are 64 bits, so that's good. So let's go ahead and start benchmark here and wait for the results. Okay, so here we are with the results. We got on the Galaxy Note 5, we got 1154 single core, uh, 3960 multi core. On the LG G4, we got almost similar, similar um, scores. We got 1152 on single core and 3158 multi core. Like, see there, both device, devices very very similar when it comes to benchmark on the geek bench 3 so now let's go ahead and restart the phones and go to the next test okay so now let's go ahead and do the antutu benchmarks um both device like you see there are also 64 bits as well so keep in mind these two are running the antutu benchmark at 64 bit settings let's go ahead and start it 
and let's wait for it to finish. Okay, so finally here we got the scores. Let's go ahead and see. We got 47.912 on the LG G4. Not bad. Very, very good score there. And let's go ahead and wait for the Galaxy Note 5 to finish. And here we got an impressive 61 735 that's awesome and if you see my other videos you could tell that this score is very very consistent stays above the 60s that's awesome okay so now that we already restarted the phones let's go ahead with 3d mark we're going to be doing the slingshot uh, ES 3.1 same here slingshot using ES 3.1 these uh, benchmarks are made for devices uh, at least that feature right there is for devices with screens uh, 1440p both devices have 1440p 2560 by 1440p so let's go ahead and wait for this to finish and we'll be back Okay, so here we are with the final score on the Note 5. We got 874, a little bit lower than other times I've been doing this test on this phone. I've been getting over 1100, so here we got 874. Uh, right here, we got only 5 zero eight five hundred and eight which is very constant because i've done this test on this phone and it, it always scores around 500 to 580 or 90 uh almost never have reached the 600 okay guys and that's it with all the comparisons and all that but my final opinion about these two phones is that these two are very very awesome phones it doesn't matter which one do you pick you're gonna love them i really really like the lg g4 the way it feels in my hand even though the, Ga the galaxy note 5 has the curve back which makes it a lot of easier to have it in your hand and it has almost no bezels whatsoever so it makes it very good to have it in your hand but the LG G4 for me feels a lot more better in my hand because it, it, it the curve that it has in the bag almost simulates the curve that I have in my hand when I'm grabbing it in my palms. Uh, it feels very good in your pocket. You know, the screen size is very awesome. 5.5 for me is like a perfect sweet spot. I'm um, here 5.7, which is a little bit bigger, but thanks to the bezels and the curve in the back feels a lot more better. Uh, camera wise, they both are great as well. They both sound good. Uh, they both are very, very snappy. Um, of course, here you got the advantage of using the um, heart rate monitor here in the back, which is awesome. This you won't get it. You got the fingerprint scanner, which is an awesome device to for pain because Samsung Pay is coming right around the corner, and you can only use Samsung Pay with Samsung devices. And this uh, with the fingerprint scanner is going to be awesome, and it works very good, very good when it comes to unlocking your phone with you with your fingerprints. is awesome. Something that you're not going to get here on the LG G4. Of course, battery life for me, the LG G4 has been better. Uh, then the Note 5, but the Note 5, the great thing is that it charges very fast and it also has wireless charging. Um, so when you think about it, there's a lot of good things uh, to like from these two devices. Of course, for me, the, the, the feature that really kills it and kills the other is the Note. The Note here on the Galaxy Note 5 is awesome. One of my favorite features of any phablet there is in the market. Uh, that's why I've always said you know, the Galaxy Note devices, they're not just a big phone. They are a super awesome phone that you could do a lot of work with it. And believe me, I use the Note the S Pen f since the, the Galaxy Note 3 and I love it and I just can't uh, go a year without a Note device. Here, of course, you can use your fingers just like every other device, but at the end of the day, it's just a big phone. Uh, but other than that, uh, they're both great phones. It doesn't matter which one you want. Of course, if you want the Pen, the S Pen, you have to get a Note device, either the Note 5 or the Note 4, which is still another great option. So guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. This was a versus video between the Galaxy Note 5 versus the LG G4. Let me know, guys, which one you think is best, which one did you buy, 
and why did you buy it over the other? Thanks for watching the video, guys. Till next time.